to the respected members of the jury and everyone present here, we the team Mex Syndicate from Little Flower High School, India are representing our nation at the RCAP co-space Rescue First Steps Under-19 Challenge. Let us recall, necessity is the mother of innovation. Emphasizing this, there is a dire need of automation in various sectors for which we have created this autonomous robot that collects and deposits objects efficiently. Let me introduce our mentor, Reverend Brother Anthony Polisetti, who is the principal of Little Flower High School, Hyderabad. Our principal always emphasizes academic excellence, holistic development and character building. He creates a positive and supportive environment that fosters learning and personal growth. Our team consists of four passionate learners. First, Mohammad Arsalan Ahmed, who focuses on hardware design, integration and AI strategic development. Next is Abdul Rafi. Oh, that's me, who is an AI programmer and debugging expert who ensures optimal robot performance. Next is Ahmed Umar, a testing and debugging expert who ensures optimal fine media and documentation. Next is Mohammad Rayyan Khan, our captain who leads with dignity, focuses more on software architecture and coding logic. In our previous experiences at the Robocup Junior 2025 held in Bengaluru, we secured the third place. This is the link to our website and here is our logo which you will be seeing at the top left corner of your screen. The RCAP Co-Space Rescue Challenge requires robots to collect colored objects, avoid traps and deposit them all autonomously. We have programmed our robot to handle every step, object detection, pickup, navigation and deposition. The goal was not only performance but precision and consistency. To collect the objects, the robot uses its RGB sensor to detect the colors. Once the desired color, either red, cyan or black is identified, the system triggers a pickup command. Next, it navigates using the gyro data to stay aligned, drops the object and continues scanning throughout the map. Every moment is controlled by conditional logic with sensor input and real-time decision making. The robot has to be fully functional in our Capco Space Rescue First Step Under-19 Challenge. This is a virtual demonstration. The robot starts while avoiding the obstacles. It moves for collecting the black object. It avoids the world boundaries and moves for collecting the red object. It moves for the deposition area. Successful deposition is done and we receive 30 points. The robot collects the cyan object. The robot moves for the deposition area. Successful deposition and we receive 190 points. The robot collects cyan gem. The robot collects red gem with double the points as it is in blue zone. The robot moves for the deposition area and now we receive 260 points. The robot moves towards the blue zone again and collects a cyan object. Then a black object, followed by another cyan object. The robot avoids the traps and the world boundaries and collects black object. The robot collects a red object. The robot collects a black object. The robot does the final deposition. Same colors are red which is 10 points, cyan which is worth 15 points and black which is worth 20 points. Two RGB sensors are installed on either side of the robot which are used to ensure accuracy while identifying the objects. Our algorithm prioritizes the higher value items first which maximizes our total score before the timer runs out. After the objects are collected, the robot moves to the orange zone or the deposition zone. It stops for 3 seconds, glows the LED and reverses slightly 
to ensure successful deposition the whole process operates automatically to maintain precision and efficiency the map is divided into nine coordinate zones using these zones as checkpoints the robot plans its route this structured navigation implements complex strategies while minimizing random movement saving both time and energy isn't it fantastic when the rgb sensor detects yellow it signals a trap zone the robot immediately moves away because crossing it would result in losing all the collected items we also program the responses for special terrains like swamplands where sometimes the collection is a big challenge it decreases the speed by 80% to prevent collision the robot is equipped with three ultrasonic sensors one on each side and one on the front if any object or wall is detected within 15 units of range the robot automatically takes a 90 degree turn i'm sure you must be thinking how the quick response system built by us prevents stalling and ensures continuous motion across the field our game plan unfolds in three phases in the first 3 minutes the robot focuses on collecting balanced sets of red cyan and black objects while avoiding the yellow traps the robot first prioritizes the blue zone objects with double the value in the last 2 minutes the robot switches to faster collection of any object maximizing the deposit cycles as the timer drops below 15 seconds the robot executes the final deposit and exits safely this structured timing keeps efficiency and scoring at peak levels our innovation lies in adaptive behavior we program the robot to focus more on black objects the highest point items then switch to the blue zone objects later in the run i'm sure you wonder what happens if something goes wrong when the robot senses imbalance like uneven load or wrong orientation it slows reverses and rotates before proceeding this ensures stability and prevent tipping or inaccurate deposition the logic used here applies directly to warehouse automation just like our robot detects colors and deposits items companies like amazon and flipkart use autonomous mobile robots to sort and transport goods efficiently our project demonstrates the same foundational principles but on a smaller scale our design also connects to search and rescue operations in disaster zones or collapsed buildings similar robots can use sensors to identify survivors and avoid debris by training in co-space we are preparing for the future of robotics where machines can assist humanity in critical conditions to enhance our project we relied on modern ai tools we use chat gpt for code and explanations and gemini ai and meta ai for testing and simulations for creative and visual designs we use nano banana for image generations and public city ai for research and development each of these tools helped us improve our workflow showing how ai can empower students to build smarter systems throughout our journey we have realized robotics isn't just technical it's deeply creative start small experiment fearlessly and remember that every bug fixed brings you a step closer to brilliance as helen hayes once said the expert in anything was once a beginner we hope that our work inspires others to explore robotics with the same dedication and excitement that drives us we are truly really grateful to compete in the rcb cospace rescue first step under 19 challenge We thank our mentor, the Reverend Brother Anthony Polisetti, teachers and organizers for their guidance and management. In closing, we team Max Syndicate express our deepest gratitude. Every challenge we faced taught us resilience, innovation, and teamwork. Thank you for giving us the platform to showcase our vision for the future. One where technology and creativity move hand in hand. Lastly, we conclude with the best form of prayer. That is, thank you.